And here you are. How did you greet yourself today? I greeted myself by saying, you stunning woman, look at you. That was my greeting to sell this morning. I woke up and I had this amazing, amazing energy. It just overwhelmed me and I was so grateful. I laid there, I was so thankful and grateful for this wonderful and amazing moment in time that is absolutely gorgeous. And that was so important to do that. It was one of those things you do when you realize you are here. Another day to do better than yesterday. Sunday was a busy, busy day for me. I had, we had, Yoko and I had our Sunday self-care show. Then I had some stuff I had to do by 11. And then I had to, I had to, I had a, a Thai massage at one. The lady comes here. And then I took my daughter and her daughter home. They were over for a couple of days. And then I got back here, got dressed, and I went to my brother-in-law's 70th birthday party. He's not going too well physically, so there were 16 of us at the restaurant, and the food was to die for. So I got home at 8.30 last night, and it was fabulous. So here, here I am up this morning, so that was a great thing. So what did you do for the weekend? Talk about your weekend. Was it fabulous? What happened on your weekend? Say something, because enjoy the season. Whatever season you're in, enjoy it. Because for us in North America, guys, and England and Europe and those places, they, well, you know, like how they say in, um, what is that show my sister is attached to that they don't have it anymore? Winter is coming. That's what that show, whatever that show is. So winter is coming. For us, it's another few months, three, four months. And these roses that you're seeing, all of this beautiful garden is going to be brown and dormant everybody goes to sleep so we won't be outside and have to be somewhere in the house to do this with you so what i want you to do wherever you are right now enjoy the moment because those moments are fleeting today is already the 28th of june july august september the leaves start to turn october november it's done and then of course then you have the most fabulous of seasons christmas for me i go bonkers at christmas i just take it to another level so that's how i celebrate the, the year every season that comes i jump into it and say what is that season bringing for us so anyway today is going to be a fabulous day and i am hopeful that you remember to greet yourself with charm and love this morning here you are you absolutely amazing human being and I have this wonderful mantra for you today. I am living a purposeful life. I am. So your life has to be purposely filled. What for? You're saving for something. You're doing something. Um, and, you know, I am living a purposeful life. I am. Don't forget to, to lock it in. Anything you're doing, do not forget to lock it in. I am living a purposeful life. I am. Lock it in. Put it here and put it there and lock in that wonderful, amazing life. Make it your life because it's your life. And I know sometimes we are stuck in a, in a situation that we don't like, we don't want to be in. But you know what? That is no reason not to still look for the one you want. That is one of the things you must remember. You might be looking at and standing in a not to present moment. But one thing you must remember is that I am living a purposeful life. I am. Claim it. It's your life. Claim that life. Claim that wonderful life. You're living a great life. Something is wrong. Something is not going well. Like, you know, something is hurting. You're in pain. But still raise your energy level. It's like you're standing on your tippity toes and you're saying, I can get it. Yes, I can. I can reach for it. That life I want is just above my fingers. If I put, if I go up on my toes a little bit more, I can get it. Yes, I can. Yes, I am. So you have to remember that. I am living a purposeful life. I am. You have a reason for being there. And I know every one of you know why you are here. There is nothing, absolutely nothing, that is going to stop you from reaching for that life. It doesn't matter what is happening around you, you can still reach, it's inside of you. Wake up your heart. One of the tricks for reaching your purposeful life, oh my God, look at this absolutely amazing big bird. You put your hands on your chest and you say, come on, 
Give me that life. You stir your heart. Bring your heart into action. Tell it to move up, come up. Give me that life that I desire. I am living a purposeful life. I am. Because you have a life of purpose. Without a life of purpose, you're not going to win that race. I know I am. That's what you have to believe in. It doesn't matter what the world thinks of you. It doesn't matter what's going on. There's some things we cannot change. And when we are faced with something, like when I said to you guys, my brother-in-law is suffering with cancer, my husband's brother. And I cannot change that. I cannot make Donnie feel better. But yesterday was his 70th birthday and there were 16 of us at a restaurant. And I, I, we, we know his voice is different and he's not throat cancer, but somehow his voice is different. And we were talking to him and laughing with him. And it was a moment in time. It was that happy moment. He will never forget it. No matter what happens to Donnie, he will never forget yesterday. So it was a busy day, but I one day said, are you coming? I said, of course I'm coming. I must go. So we went and we had a beautiful, beautiful time. Two and a half hours later, because that's how long they, and we were on a patio with the 16 of us, his daughters, his grandchildren. And yet everybody is living a life. We, we, we faced that moment and when we, and, and he asked me, what did Brian do? I said, Brian just realized what it was and said, I, he, um, grant me the serenity to accept what I cannot change and the courage to change the things I can. And that's what I was talking to his wife. We are very close. And I said to her, Johan, just go and just accept what you cannot change. Once you accept the things you cannot change and then you change the things you can, what can you change? Your behavior how you feel and say, no, go back to the memory of that person. I remember Donnie being here and he, and he was such a fun guy to be around. And he still is. He was remind, he remind us of those things. He said, did you remember when we had fireworks in the backyard for the kids because they were so long? You know, remember the, the Blue Jays winning the World Cup and we were running all over the place. It was um, Thanksgiving. So these are the things you have to do. Accept the things you cannot change and leave them alone and then know I can change where I am. I can change the pain I'm feeling now. I can change that. I can reach for the top. I have this goal over there. It's right there. My goal is right there. I need it. And I can. I am living a purposeful life. Yes, I am. And when you do that, the pain is there. You cannot, you're not ignoring it, but you're telling it it's okay. You have your day. I need to have my day. I need to be able to do my dance. So tell the pain, fine, I acknowledge you, but I cannot fix you. I acknowledge the, the discomfort for my brother-in-law, but I couldn't fix him. But I could make him smile in the moment by talking about the silly things we did. And that is what it is. So I am living a purposeful life. Yes, I am. I am here this morning because I don't care. Somebody said to me, well, you don't get many followers in the morning. You should look when you, I'm not doing it for followers. I'm doing it because I have something inside of me. I feel I must hand out. I have a mission in me that I said, I went through this journey. I know what it is to lose love, a loved one. I know what it is to live a purposeful life. I know what it is to step into the moment and do what I have to do. So I have to tell you, live a purposeful life. Do the thing that you make sure you have to do. Hi, Pavli. So make sure that all of the things you do is yours. It's a purposeful life, a love, a life of purpose, a life of joy. And what you cannot change, you say, okay. Say, come, sir. That's how it is. And you leave it alone. But that, guess, can you imagine that wasn't your morning? Your morning blessing. I get fired up about living a purposeful life. And I tell you, it's not your morning blessing. No, it's not. Your morning blessing is how to download. I had questions because we spoke about it on the live yesterday. They asked for my morning routine. And I was telling them one of the things I do at the end of the day, at night, before I fall asleep, I download into a notebook. Downloading is like when you download from your phone to your laptop for, or to your desktop. You take it from where it's too much and you put it somewhere else. Analogy for you. So we are downloading what, we go, what we're experiencing all day long and we're putting it on a piece of paper in a book and we're saying, stay there. If you go to bed with all those crazy thoughts going through your head, you are not going to win. 
it's not going to work for you. You won't sleep. You'll be tossed in and saying what you should have done, how you should, what you should have managed. Oh, I, I really wish I hadn't done that. I no, you won't fall asleep with those thoughts. Take them out. Downloading means you get a book, an exercise book. I don't care what it is. It could be a book. You have something else in it. The point is, I want you to take it from your mind, your body, your soul, your spirit, whatever it is lagging on, whatever it is resting on, and take it and say, come here. I'm going to put you over here because I need to go to sleep. It's like giving children a time out. You say to them, you say to that downloading, all these things going through your mind that is, and yet you want to find a path to go to sleep. All you want to do is sleep. And everything that happened to you throughout the day now is following you around. And you're lying in bed and you're tossing and you're turning. No, get up, get that notebook and put it in there. Write everything you're feeling and put it in there. That's what you do with it. Put it down in that notebook. And you say to it, here you are. I want you to do this. This is sleep time. So empty your mind. Take it from your phone and put it on your laptop. Take it from your phone and put it on your desktop. It's overloading your phone. So it is overloading you. Downloading is saying, okay, I didn't do whatever is you just write it. Write it, whether it's scribbling, whether it's a one long line, whether it's a bunch of little things going up and down. I don't care. It does not have to be legible. The thought has to be the pressing of the pen on the paper. And once you refresh that downloading, downloading is a gift. Downloading is a gift that keeps giving. The more you download at night before you go to bed, I take it so seriously that I sit in a chair. I don't even do it while I'm in my bed because I don't even want it in my bed. I don't want that energy in where I'm going to sleep. I take it and I sit in a chair and I download. I put it there. What I did well and what I didn't do so well, I leave them there. What I can fix and what I cannot fix. What I can fix tomorrow, but well, I'll deal with it today because it's another day to try to fix it again. So when you do something, do not regret the steps. It's like when they said to me, oh, you don't have very many people on the live, change the time. No, eight o'clock is the time. The one person that shows up came because there is something they need to get. And they might have just come for one, maybe 20, 20 seconds, one minute, see what's going on, don't like the topic, turn around. That's okay, they're a seeker. A seeker never stops. The seekers keep looking for what they want. And then the one seeker that is going to come and stay, that seeker gets what they want. And if each of us, however many of you in this area now, in this family on the morning blessing, decide that you're going to impact the life of one person today, there is 12 of us, there is 15 of us doing that. So my job is to touch one heart, one soul, one mind to wake somebody up from where they are to help them. Hi, you can do it. Yes, you can. If I can do you, you can do somebody else. If somebody else is done by you, they too can go and the chain of love and help and serving continues. You don't have to serve, serve millions. It's wonderful if you can serve million, million, millions. But if people come and they're not getting something and they're not feeling it, well, you cannot help it. Give it your all because that's what I do. But when you get it, download it. Do not let, so what I did, I downloaded that. I took it and I put it in the book. And I said, okay, I'm going to let my people know in the morning what that, what that means, downloading it. I took it, it didn't bother me because I don't care. My job is to do what I do, what is yours. Find what yours is and do what it is that you have to do. So downloading it in the morning is the best thing you can do for you. Downloading it at night is another time, but the night time is more crucial because this person who wrote the DM to me told me, I heard you talking about downloading. What is downloading? Downloading is at the end of the day, sitting down and recalibrating all the things you did and you didn't do so well. What you can fix and what you cannot fix. What you can help and what you cannot help. That is downloading. That is how you download. You take it from your mind, you put it down, then you go to sleep and you will sleep because she said she couldn't sleep. She can't sleep at night. She's having a hard time sleeping. So I, and she thought downloading a little bit more would help her. I said, well, that's what you do. You write it out, you put it in a book, you leave it there and you go to bed to sleep and watch your words. Don't say I'm going to bed. 
You can go to bed and sit there all night toasting and turning, or you can say, I'm going to sleep. Message to subconscious mind, come with me because we are going to sleep. We need to rest. When I was much, much younger, but no, my subconscious mind knows I don't joke around with it. I would say, listen, I need to sleep. And if I need to sleep, you better shut up because I want to sleep. I have to sleep. And that's what you have to do. So, so one of the things you have to do is take a little time in your life at night and say, you know what? I'm done with this. I need to put you over here. I need to rest you over there. I need to put you over there to sit quietly and wait. And that's what downloading is. Downloading is moving it from where you have it and bringing it to where you want it to be and leaving it there. It's part of what you're pushing. When you say, I need to live, I am living a purposeful life. A life of purpose has no room for nonsense. A life of purpose, acknowledge what is not working, and if they cannot fix it, they move on. But a life of purpose is actually taking a time and saying, okay, I need to get this out of my life. I need to download this. I need to get this out of my mind. It's preventing me from having a good night's sleep. And, and then the routine of doing that actually is purposeful. Every time you turn around and you do something that helps you live a better life is a more purposeful life. And that is what you have to do. This is what we must do. Live a life like this. Live a life and say, yes, I am doing what I love to do. And don't be shy about it. When you are t doing things, taking steps to live a purposeful life like downloading at night, empty the computer, empty the phone, put it somewhere else. That is living a purposeful life because your intention now is to sleep. If you do not have the intention to sleep, you will not sleep. And the things you cannot change in that writing, in that book that you're writing, acknowledge it. It's okay, but I cannot fix it. I am not able to change it. It is okay, but on my own, I cannot do a thing about it. So downloading that spiritual part of you that is nagging you and keeping you from being the wonderful you, that is what is important. So to live a purposeful life, you must have a routine that is anchored in belief that it will work. So this purposeful life that you want to live, you, want, you have a purpose. Why are you here? You know that. Why? We ask that question, why? Then we ask, what should we do? So when you find a what, what I can do right now is download before I go to sleep. Take actions. Make your room cooler. It doesn't have to be 50, 100 degrees hot. Take it down. Open the window. Pull back the drapes. Do something to stimulate and make the energy flow for you. And then go to sleep. And if you happen to wake up, then wake up. And, but that is what it is. Do not lie in bed saying, I, I, uh, uh, no, you cannot fix it doing it. Take it, put it on paper, talk to it and say, here you go. I need to sleep. So you are there tomorrow. If, I, if you come up when I'm uploading information, then I will take you on. So the other part of having that purposeful life is what are you uploading in the morning? When you wake up, we talked about it on the morning blessings, or not the morning blessing, on the Sunday self-care show, about downloading and uploading. Uploading is when the first thing you do in the morning before you say hello to self, is picking up that phone and saying, I'm um, okay, I better check to see what my friend did today. Did she show a picture of her body? Or did he do that? What is going on in the world? Who is, who is going to do that? Who is not nice? Who should, I, who should I snare at? You're not snaring at them. You're snaring at yourself. So don't pick up the phone. That is uploading. What are you uploading into your consciousness before you breathe? Come on. You turn in bed. You're half asleep. Haven't brushed your teeth. And there you are grabbing a phone. So you can see what is spinning in the world. Trust me, they're going to tell you about it all day long. You, don't, you cannot affect it, can you? You cannot change it, can you? So why don't you go and work on what you can affect and what you can change, which is you. So at night you download, in the morning you upload. What are you uploading? Energy, get up and say, I am grateful. Somebody was talking to me about gratitude yesterday at the, at the dinner. 
And when they were talking this, Auntie Tessa, one of the things you always taught us at Christmas is to be grateful for our gifts. And these are people in their 30s and 40s, and it's still Auntie Tessa and Auntie Tessa this and Auntie Tessa that. And, and the hugging, but they remember those small things. You know, Megan, who has two children, was seven when the Jays won. And she was in charge of running the news to everybody. She was the news runner. We made a game out of it. Today, as an adult, She's telling her 10-year-old son, Auntie Tessa taught me how to be a runner. I got the news from the TV and I run and I spread it. News, news, the Blue Jays did this. And she still remembers that. And, and you could see this, the, the thing on her, on her son's face, like, really, mom? And, and he's so amazed. So these are the things you have to upload. Upload things that, en and that enable you to enjoy your life. Be, be grateful for that. I am so grateful for her. Megan is always in my life. Laura, all of them. So be grateful for these wonderful opportunities to upload that information. Lie in your bed and give thanks and be grateful before you pick up that phone. Look in the mirror and say, hi, how are you? I'm so grateful you're still alive today. Talk to your body like it's your best friend. So your knee hurts. You say, okay, so you hurting? Well, I still love you. I still love you. You have to do that. Upload stuff that will enable you to be the magnificent specimen of a human being you were raised and created to be. And that's what matters. You have to remember that you are amazing. And you need to fill yourself, fool it up with amazing thoughts, words, and action. Don't, don't put things in your, in your life that's going to keep you down. And you have to, when you read the phone, you're rubbing your head, uh, that, that government, that this. No, chill. Drink, drink good um, Kool-Aid. Drink from the nectar of joy in the morning. Reach for the nectar of joy. And upload good stuff. Upload, upload hope. Upload your purpose. Upload love. Upload, um, you know, joy. Upload happiness and gratitude and upload thankfulness and appreciation. Upload that your feet it has touched the ground. Upload that you turn around and the sun is shining and you can feel it on your face. I am not going to look at the other end and tell you there are people who don't. You know that already, but that's not my job. My responsibility is to let you be centered on you. Let the sun tickle your face a bit and just be grateful. I can feel this. Sip your coffee and let the flavor saturate all your senses. Let your taste but dance. In the moment, in that moment, happiness is a moment in time. Do something in the morning that makes you happy for a moment. Drink your coffee and let it saturate all your senses, your taste buds in your mouth. Take that lemon water and really picture a tree. That lemon that you just squeezed, it didn't grow in Canada or in the US or maybe in Florida. But it didn't grow in New York. It didn't grow in Washington. And it didn't grow in Toronto or Montreal or Halifax or Vancouver. No, it didn't. And there you are able to get it because of the technology of life. That you can, they, they brought it there before it spoiled. It was in a cooler. It was transported from one country to the other. We know all about that. But do we acknowledge that lemon tree, wherever that lemon came from, and we squeezed it in our water and we drank it? Even the water we drink in this country that is, that is pure. Acknowledge it. We have clean water to drink straight from the tap. These are the things you upload in the morning. Not what is happening crazy on the internet. Not some algorithm that they will keep sending you more madness to get you more crazy. Upload the good things. You, the, the bad things are going to be there. You're going to find them. It, or if you don't find them, they're going to find you. So don't do that. Stay in, just stay in, in the moment. Stay in the moment and enjoy the moment of uploading good in the morning, taking the heavy disturbances of the day and download it at night. And try that. If you, if you don't believe me, try doing that for seven days. Seven days of doing that alone. Even after three days, you'll feel different. But seven is the magic number for doing something like that. Download at night. It doesn't have to be a whole lot of stuff. 
But when the pen will not stop writing, you know you have to continue. When the mind will not stop flowing, you know you have to continue. You might write the same thing twice, four times, five times, but that same thing must be very heavy. That's why you're doing it so many times. So write them down. Once you, your mind is saying you have to do this, you know, I really have to fix it. I want to go there. I, I desire this. I, you know, I didn't do so. Just keep doing it. And then get to bed. And you'll notice you will just fall asleep. In the morning, you want to wake up. Wake up uploading all these wonderful things, the memories. Oh, I'm so grateful I had such a wonderful weekend. I'm so grateful I'm facing another fabulous warm summer day. I'm so grateful I'm standing there looking at the sun and can feel it on my face. And you just feel yourself with the upload yourself with these things and watch miracles just run in your life. People will come out of nowhere to assist you, to give you a better life. People will come out from nowhere to say, hey, you're standing, you're beautiful. And when somebody tells you that, don't say, you know, just say thank you. I really work at this. That's what you have to say. Thank you. I really working at this being beautiful. I drink 20 million gallons of water. I'm just I don't I don't know. I'm just saying. Just give them say thank you. Don't ask, don't say, well, I do this and you know it doesn't matter. If they ask you, then you tell them. The, your job now is to say thank you. See, even the bird is agreeing with me. The bird is just chipping away. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So that's what you have to do. Life like that is wonderful. So this is what the message is today. I hope you get it and see what we can do. So join me in what I do because my journey through the five pillars of prosperity is to give you complete and full life prosperity. Today, this was spiritual prosperity. The morning blessing is always with a little bit of mental and a touch of emotion so that you are in the right place at the right time to receive all the graces that are allowed for you to take in. Have a wonderful and amazing day.